Yesterday. He was a little fed up. Until we get our act together, until we do everything we're supposed to do, like they threw. Studio is closed, no dough fat, no D dot. Right no yeah, hard, no, no nothing. Yeah. Like, we, it's, we do have an opportunity to gain that back if us as a group take this serious enough. Puff calling me, blowing me up about just the whole meeting, and then said that. After he had the meeting with you guys, then you was in the club. This could really be the end for the band, and you know why this could possibly be the end for him? Because I don't want to keep on giving him chance after chance after chance. I don't have time for that. My man is telling me that we need to sit down with the MTV lawyers tomorrow. Like, this is crazy to me. We got to get real. We got to take it to the next level. The friends, the family, y'all need to cut off everything. There's got to be some changes starting right now. Phil Robinson is just, like, magnificent. Anytime we want to, we just call him. We got a problem, we call him. And he make things happen. Phil's presence is helpful. He's cool. He's smart. He don't take no junk. And he's looking out for us. There's no way I'm going to be able to get in touch with the people from MTV by tomorrow. So that give us till Monday. But well, it's grind time, like real grind time. Yo. Hey, Tony. What up, though? Well, there's some stuff changed. Um, what changed? Everything changed. Like, I called my husband. He's pissed. Some better grind the fuck out. He knows how much I want this. He knows how much we've been working towards this. It's crazy right now, Tony. We have till Monday. Right. To get these songs together. If Phil can't get this thing to, like, stop, I'm coming home, man, with nothing. When he said he was shutting down the studio, I was like, damn. We're not getting this done unless somebody is in over top is watching us, making sure it's done. The first order of business for us to do is just to find a manager right now so we can keep things flowing. What are we going to do with this management thing, man? Mm -hmm. We got to hurry up and do something. Everybody is kind of undecisive on picking a manager. So what I thought the best thing would do is everybody write down these five things they were, they, they're looking for in a manager. Aggressiveness. Yeah. I bet you want people um, looking over your money, right? Account hours. My five thing is endorsement, get us shows, stylists, touring, and to make sure that we get paid. Nation man has stay break. All right, so you want you want stylists. I want a stylist too. Y'all need to keep ball. my clothes clean. No, nah, that don't got nothing. That's what your manager going to be hey. doing that. What would you want him to do for you when you put some money in your pocket? Commercials, tours. That's what I said, too. Merchandise. We know we, we gotta know about merchandising. Well, who gonna be there with us 24 hours a day? No, that's day what one day. I, I want to know about. Who the is gonna be with us all the time? My favorite choice for a manager would be Howard Hertz because he's also my lawyer. Frederick, I'm Howard. Howard Hertz came from Eminem's camp. Howard, how you going? He's negotiated a lot of big deals. I'm a lawyer in the music business. Started doing that 27 years ago. And just started managing a band for the first time last September. How aggressive are you willing to get? Diddy is a Child, monster. Yeah. You got me. Child, are you ready to break that wall down and go through that hallway like, yo, that's not the way it's going down. He's a monster. This is my group. No, we need that. Yeah. That aggression, because yeah. we're dealing with a monster. Howard is missing the street credibility so he could deal with these people who are coming from the streets that have risen into power such as Diddy. I'm not feeling Howard. I'm just not feeling him. My name is Michael Blue Williams. I'm a manager. Um, I have a company called Family Tree Entertainment. I manage Outkast, Case, Jagged Edge, Macy Gray, Casey and Jojo. You know, we take artists to not just their musical careers, but their film, their acting, television. My job is basically to play that, that middle role between you and the rest of the world and to try and give you that piece of 
of mind knowing that someone's taking care of the business while you're being an artist. Blue Williams, he had on sneakers, a jean outfit. You are not Russell Simmons. Hey, how you doing? Good to see ya. Good evening. How are you? Good to meet you. It's Josie right there. New promo, man. I seen him a couple times on TV. I guess you probably know who I am from the original Making the Band One. We have with O-Town. I got together uh, Backstreet Boys and uh, NSYNC. We currently have a group called Natural, which is kind of putting the band back in boy band, and they debuted number two over in Germany. I think you guys could shoot to the moon. I really do. You have the talent, you have the motivation, you have that spark that really makes it happen. I need somebody that's gonna be like, I don't care what you say, you're gonna go do it. Have you heard anything about Phil Robinson? Puffy's manager? Do you think that's a bad idea for um, Puffy manager to manage the group as well? I don't see a direct conflict necessarily if he's gonna manage you and he manages you and puts all his effort into you. Who are you kind of feeling right now, like Phil? Like Phil, I, I, I kind of feel like I know Phil more. Like we have more of a connection than dude, even though I, we Pearl just met And was saying, like, she was like, you know, it's about trust and it's about loyalty. Phil is definitely the top choice. I think the group is feeling him. Hi, you reach Phil Robinson. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Have a Okay. Yo, Phil, this is Ness. On behalf of the band, we'd like to schedule a meeting with you. Phil is our manager because we all felt he's the right guy for the job. He know what he's doing. When I talk to y'all all the time since you uh, selected me as the manager, right. we a team. I feel like he's going to keep us together. He's going to keep us focused. Why you here? I'm gonna try to get your choreography stuff jumped off. I'm gonna get your, your hair, makeup, all of that kind of stuff jumped off, all of that. If I can't handle it or it's a problem, I'm gonna come tell you, like, yo, I don't got that. Or we need to be geared up for this. I do that in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Word. I don't really know what's gonna happen with these guys. They gotta get their act together now or I'm gonna go and sign me another group. I thought about everybody that was on the first making a band. I don't know what it's called. And I've seen a lot of them, spoke to a lot of them, kept in touch with them. I think Mystery thought I didn't like her, but to be honest, she was one of my favorites. You know, right now we have six members, but you never know what could happen. I'm coming. Basically, you know, you might turn your back on me. You might think I disappeared, but I'm coming. I have a lot of responsibilities to other artists. I'm not going to let this one group and their dysfunctionalism bring me down. But I'm going to have to put the search back on and find somebody else. How you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm mysterious. I just wanted to check on her. I think she has a lot of talent. How you doing? I'm all right. I wanted to get with you and, because you know, give you a chance to holler at me and me holler at you about me not making it. In the last minute decision, chop. When I think about that night, I felt like I failed. But it happened for the best because I think in the end, I'm gonna be where I wanna be. I let go of a lot of things in my past and I'm trying to move forward. You know, I was concerned about you and the rest of the crew, the staff was concerned about you just because you had made an impact on us as far as your drive, your determination, your passion, and your voice. The things that gave me goosebumps when I heard you rhyme. Be a puppy are cool, you know, there's no grudges between us. One thing you did teach me was life is not a game. Only the fittest and most aggressive will survive. So I've been doing like mixed CDs, mm -hmm. I've been doing like promos for radio mm -hmm. stations. The road is hard searching for a deal. You gotta stay hungry and passionate and determined. You can't give up. I respect your dream, you know what I'm saying? I respect your individuality and I respect you as an artist. But I feel you know you got a lot of talent. I'm gonna holler at you about it. Hot to get you on a record with them, you know what I'm saying? Come in the studio, we're going to the studio. keep hearing that 
it's going to be people who got cut that's going to be on the album. Yo, there's a lot of chat about Mysterious. They talking about putting on an album, which sounds crazy to me because she ain't do none of the shit we had to do. The Mysterious comeback has that. I get my shit, I'm gone. As far as guest appearances go, uh, Puff has the creative control as the executive producer. If they bring somebody back that's not hot on the album, you gotta fight it. It can't be two female rappers. I'm bringing the paint, picking the flag, flipping the chain, switching the game. I'm, no, 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 no. I told you the way that you win fights with the Diddy is about having your points. So if you find, like, there's somebody that's on the joint that you don't want on the joint and you want to fight for it, make sure that it's because they whack or it's because they're whatever. I heard Hog ask Allison who's going to call Mysterious. And he was like, yeah, we, we, need to, we need to do that. We need to get her down here. You don't want Mysterious on your record? Cool. Keep that amongst us right now. She has good fame. She has a name. Her fame sells. But her lyrics is garbage. Who the heck is that? Is that that lady? What y'all doing? We just finished the song. How many more songs y'all got to go? We almost done. Because I asked them, could I come see y'all earlier? And they said it shouldn't be a problem. If you got to come, you got to do the same things that we did to get where we at. You got to go walk to Junior's for cheesecake. You got to wash cars. You got to go feed the homeless. You can't sleep. You can't eat. Did so you think it's cool for me to show up? Not really. <laughs> We're ready to work. That's one right there. I know that Diddy said he don't want to deal with us no more, but we do love this, and we focus, and we are ready to do what we got to do. Just got to work harder, do better, put all that bullshit to the side, and worry about this here, worry about right now. My life, Sarah got saying the hook. So Sarah, you practice on my life. I already know that. You know the whole thing. Oh yeah. Everything. I mean... Uh, you know that the ad is ready to? Mm -hmm. All right. Living legend. Need the hook. Wild clap song. Done. Clap your hands. Hook. Fred solo. I'm gonna put a slash on that. Bam. That solo. Puffy got approved. That's done. Uh, dialogue song. It's not done. It's circle right now. That's it. We're going to the bad boy offices to have a meeting with Phil Robinson. Hey. How are you? Good. To see where we're going to go from here. Hey, Sarah and Babs are ready to do their Chopper City part. My life, Sarah must sing hook and ad-lib. I know that. Um, Give me an idea what the hooks are. We came to lock it down. down. Keep it out of the streets and act the down. down. No be shut down. Say ho, say ho. Hey, it's okay. See my team pull up in that corner too. Hey, so have my money today. Or have I had to send a couple of your way? So then we have everything on these papers accomplished, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what's right now most important is accomplishment. Come with me with, with an idea of something that you all can do on your own that doesn't need dough fat, that doesn't need anything from this camp. That's something that will be a big feather in your cap. Right now, we on our own. We got to look at this as if we had to do this without them. At the end of the day, Phil's willing to fight for anything we want. I'm going to present your accomplishments, try to get to, get the studio stuff back going. Dynasty. It's the only way to give them another chance and to really see if they really truly apologize is to see their actions. You need to believe in words without actions. I can't really do that. Big talk, big talk. So I just came up with this idea. I was thinking, we right here. He getting on a plane tonight at 8 o'clock. So he got to get out of here. I think that y'all should stay there till you get him and sit down with him and you talk to him yourself. That's the reason why Phil's our manager. He did put the bug in the air and say, yo, you know, you should wait for Puff. I went to college with him. Me and him sat in on the administration building at Howard University 
because we didn't like the things that was going on in our school. You got to be the same way. If I didn't think that you was ready, I wouldn't tell you like that. I, I would hold out for it. And I think that the, he's the kind of dude who's only going to respect you. That I want you all to start developing a relationship of respect between him and you. And I believe in you. I, I believe that you can get this accomplished with money. Don't let him leave. Please. I'm telling you, it will, it will be worth your while. All right? You got this. Two minutes, it could be two hours, but the word is out. Reception, she was like, talking about how many people called me, like, please give me a deal. And we right here, we got it. Yeah. And we about to lose it. I put my pride aside. There is no pride. When it comes to him telling he gonna pull the plug. First, I thought it was uh, a good idea. Then I got tired of waiting. Then we should just might just go home and just write them verses and just keep doing it. Instead of just waiting. You hired me as a manager? Trust me as a manager. Yeah, I trust you. I mean, like, I, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm telling you. I knew I was in the wrong. We all knew he was in the wrong. We had to apologize. He is going to come out, but he, he just, I want to make sure everybody's here. Yeah. Kids in. I will. Right. Cool. What's up, y'all? What's up? Hey, basically, we're here to let you know that um, we're ready. We focus. We, we got most of the stuff done on the list, but a lot of the stuff we need to be in the studio to fix it. And we know you got a deadline. We're willing to meet that deadline by any means necessary. Like, uh, we appreciate working with you. I mean, we appreciate being here and you selecting us. So it's like we, we got to end of the bargain hold down and we just can't walk off like that. We're willing to grind and do whatever it takes, man. So we have our manager. We just picked our manager now. And Who's we're like, manager? so our manager. So we're focused, definitely. It's definitely, it's definitely on some Staying up last two days. I think first of all, y'all should like really, you know, consider like apologizing to all the people that worked with y'all. I know y'all want to get to work, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you got people around here really taking to y'all, falling in love with y'all, wanting y'all to win, understanding, seeing your story, understanding your struggle for where you're coming from. And you know on how this is like this is like a Cinderella story right here. You know what I'm saying? I really like y'all. I don't look down on y'all because I've been doing it longer. You know, I respect your talent, your skills, and I think you know we just want the same thing. You know what I'm saying? We just want respect. We don't want nobody to. I don't want nobody to kiss my ass. I don't want nobody to, you know, do anything special for me, but just like work with me. You know what I'm saying? Just work as hard as I'm gonna work. Y'all gotta build up to just be responsible young adults. And most importantly, people that really want it. You think you're gonna get it if you don't really want it? And you ain't acting like you're gonna want it? The game gonna give you what you give it. I care about y'all, number one. Whether I know y'all like that because I, I seen the struggle. <laughs> I'm attached to it just like somebody watching it on TV. I seen where y'all came from. So I'm rooting for y'all too. Besides that, I think y'all talented. I think y'all a great addition to Bad Boy. I think we can make some history together. All right? Cool. Puppy over the studio back up. I just feel blessed, bro. I never felt so happy in my whole freaking life. We're definitely going to make the most of the second chance with Puff. As long as we make hit albums and make hit records, that's all that counts. Thank Another note that has nothing to do with them, but it has everything to do with them, we gotta make this deadline. If you're gonna be managing them, you're gonna have to be responsible and manage them. Mm -hmm. And I gotta make this deadline. Cause I mean, I don't trust them.
next on making the band. Now come beat my ass. Shut up, man. What you going to do? Hey, bro. Is it over? It was like enough was enough to me. I ain't come here for this, man. Let it go. Let it go. Just all right.